In this video, I will define Gauss's law and demonstrate how it can be used to calculate the electric field around a spherical charge. Recall that electric flux is the scalar product of the electric field and the area intercepting it. In calculus, it is the dot product integral of the electric field function and the differential surface area vector. In a previous video, it was demonstrated that the total electric field flux depends only on the charge enclosed. This is regardless of the shape of the area enclosure or the charge inside. This constancy of the total electric flux with charge is known as Gauss's law. We will take the simplest of examples of calculating the electric field both inside and outside a uniform spherical charge using Gauss's law. We will first define the charge density rho using the geometry of the object. Next, we will choose an enclosed surface referred to as a Gaussian surface. For simplicity, we will use the shape of the object to set up a similar Gaussian surface. This will help in calculating the electric field from flux later. To use Gauss's law, we must get an expression for charge enclosed by our Gaussian surface. Next, we apply Gauss's law and insert our expression for enclosed charge. Because flux is electric field times area, therefore, the electric field can be calculated as the flux divided by the area. Note that inside the sphere, 
both the total charge enclosed and the surface area are dependent on radius. We insert back the original quantities and get our final expression. Note that according to this result, the electric field inside a uniform spherical charge increases linearly with radius from the center. Outside the charge, calculating the flux is a lot simpler because any enclosed surface will already have the total charge. Hence, if we apply Gauss's law, the total flux will always be the same. When calculating the electric field, we just need to divide by the surface area of the enclosing sphere. Notice this is the same result as the electric field for a point charge derived from Coulomb's law. Let's match up the two solutions. Inside the spherical charge, the magnitude of the electric field increases with radius from the center. Starting at the surface and outside of it, the electric field drops off as radial distance from the center squared. Because the electric field must be continuous, the two solutions must have the same value at the surface. 